One of the most famous cruise routes in the world is the journey along the Alaskan coast, where views of mountainous landscapes, breathtaking wildlife, and charming coastal views are promised and delivered. With the perfect mix of scenic outdoor beauty, comfortable accommodations, and lively onboard entertainment, it's no question as to why the Alaska cruise is such a bucket list experience for so many people. This morning, we got up at 4 o'clock a.m. to catch a train that's going to take us from Anchorage all the way down to Seward, which is where we're going to hop aboard our Alaskan cruise. So we've got a seven-day cruise ahead of us. We are so excited. We're going to pack up all of our things and head to the train station. Morning from the train. We have just disembarked and the sun is slowly rising. It is the blue haze of morning. Yep, it's gorgeous out there and we're gonna be able to watch the coffee. sky just brighten up. So embarkation days are the takeoff days when you go on a cruise and this is our very first one yeah. ever because this is also our first cruise together. You yeah. went on a cruise. When I was really young, yeah. we went somewhere in like the Caribbean, which yeah. was really fun. Mm -hmm. But this I feel is definitely like definitely different. <laughs> yeah, this is very different and I'm just so excited to see the ship. Yeah, me too. So there are many ways to get from Anchorage to Seward, but we decided to go with what National Geographic Traveler has ranked as one of the top 10 train rides in all of North America. For the next four hours or so, we're gonna be chugging along Resurrection Bay before winding into the mountains. And I've gotta say, we're already off to such a magical start. The fogginess and the light rain makes me feel as if I'm in a story where Twilight meets Harry Potter. Honestly, the ideal mood for a cozy train ride. My sister and my brother-in-law are up in first class and they actually get free drinks with their ticket. But my sister was feeling a little bit motion sick from the rocking of the train. So she decided to transfer her voucher to us, which was so, so nice. So we have two drinks. We have the brown bear, which is basically like a boozy hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then we got an Alaskan mule. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. It's like a ginger soda. Yeah, this one's definitely very strong. It's like basically a Christmassy hot chocolate with, I don't know, well, Irish, Irish cream, I think. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, very Ooh. contrasting. <laughs> yeah, it's like fire and ice, yeah. basically. Yeah, <laughs> like cozy vibes and refreshing vibes. Yeah. yeah. So this is my very first time seeing a cruise and they're massive, they're so, so big. And to think that we're gonna be living on the ninth floor for the next, what, like seven days? Yeah. Crazy. This is our home. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. just checked into our room for the next seven days and it's definitely really exciting we're gonna give you a quick little room tour so you can kind of see what we're gonna be dealing with and so first off we've got a lot and a lot of storage space we've got a full-length mirror so we can look at all of our outfits while we're on the cruise but also in here we have two bathrobes two complimentary yoga mats that we can use while we're on the cruise and also some complimentary slippers which you know will be sliding on right when the Sun goes down and we're ready to get cozy <laughs> and then over on this side we've got some more hangers and some more shelves where we can store our clothes and this is especially exciting because we might actually unpack our suitcases and put our clothes away for the very first time ever because we always just live out of the suitcase but because we're here for so long we can actually do that and we have this the storage for it over on this side we've got some pull-out shelves that we can also fit some more things into we've got some counter space and also these cabinets which I think will be perfect for storing our gear 
They open and close super easy and we can just toss our camera, toss our tripod in there. And if we ever see some wildlife, we can whip it out real quick. So these are gonna be super nice for our entire stay. Now, before I show you the living space, I wanna take a moment to show you the bathroom that we have in this room. So it is private and it's actually a lot more spacious than I thought it'd be. We have a standing shower, a working toilet, and also a lot of counter space around the sink so we can store all of our toiletries right there nice and easy and also there are two shelves as well so as I've said this place is definitely equipped for a long-term stay um, there's just so much storage I don't even think we have enough things to store in all of their storage compartments all right now let's turn around and we'll go into the living space over on this side I'm sitting on a lovely king-size bed we are definitely gonna get some really great sleep here especially because it's nice and chilly outside we always sleep best when the weather is cool and also we've got two bedside tables surrounding the bed and then over in the back we've got a nice desk with a lit up mirror so we can actually get ready there in the morning I can also do a little bit of work on the desk if I want to and lastly in the corner we do have a small sofa where we can just sit back and lounge if we're ever feeling a little bit tired maybe we can take a nap there but I don't know why we would when we have the bed here <laughs> now as I walk around the bed I do want to note something they have curved the edges of this king size bed so that it's easier to get around which I just think is really nice because otherwise you know we hit my hip <laughs> on this bed if they didn't um, you know curve it out so I like that little little touch that they did now the highlight of this room is definitely the outdoor balcony that's completely private. And when we were researching um, Alaskan cruises, everyone was saying like you cannot go on an Alaskan cruise and not have a private balcony because there's just so much wildlife to see. And it's great just being able to watch, you know, the scenery go by from your bed and from your room. So I'm really, really grateful that we have a room that has this balcony. And right now we are situated on the ninth floor. So we're definitely really high up but also that means we have a really great view of all of the surroundings so we are about to have a fantastic time and i'm just so grateful to be here we're going to see some really great wildlife eat some really good food and just check out some really amazing small towns here on the coast of alaska i will say this room is definitely a lot more spacious than i expected but i think we're going to get settled in and then we're on to the buffet which i've been very excited about no a buffet? I'm like, hungry, oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't really have much of a breakfast today. We had like two muffins, so mm -hmm. we have worked up an appetite for yes. sure. Made a chocolate. The dessert. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Spotting otters. <laughs> so when Claire was researching top things to bring on an Alaskan cruise, binoculars were one of them. So we borrowed these from my parents, but the room also came with a smaller set for the co-captain, which is gonna be Claire. Oh, <laughs> I'm the one who remembered to bring or to ask for the binoculars. <laughs> okay, fine, I can use these. Oh wait, wrong way. Oh, wait, no, that's the right way. <laughs> This afternoon has been super relaxing. We've just been settling into the room and also looking through all the activities the cruise offers. And we're obviously trying to take advantage of as many complimentary activities as we can. But there are so many things to do. Um, it's kind of overwhelming at first, but then we like sat down to really schedule in what we prioritized. Chad had a couple of uh, exercise things. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to gain too much weight on the ship. But something else that happened, we had entered a spa giveaway raffle and we were waiting <laughs> with all the other eager people and they had actually called my sister's name um, as one of the winners and because my sister was getting a massage, I went to get it for her and the, the prize is actually this treatment for your face that makes you look 10 years younger. So when I went to accept the prize, um, the man was like, oh my gosh, you're gonna look like a baby after this treatment. Treatment. But I thought that was really funny and a fantastic start to the adventure on this cruise um, In just a bit, we're gonna head out to dinner and we're gonna be going to one of the restaurants on board So the final thing that I think will wrap up like day one on the cruise is going to be disembarkation So like once they actually untie 
the rope that is tethering us to the dock and we start setting sail. I'm just gonna be so excited because we'll watch the mountains go by. I will be staring out the window all hours of the day trying to find wildlife. It's just gonna be so much fun. I'm just already so excited looking out the window right now. Food has come and this restaurant was a lot nicer than I expected so next time I come here I probably won't wear my hat but the food has been so good we had our shrimp and escargot appetizers which were phenomenal and I have to say the steak looks absolutely fantastic just made it back to our room and there are chocolates on our pillows and our pillows have been fluffed and our bed has been made <laughs> and we are full of steak and escargot and wow. We are happy. We're this is gonna like gain the first some weight. Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah we are but this is also the first time in a long time that we've had turn down service which I love yeah. so much. It's like they prepped the whole room for you to just go straight into your deep slumber after a fantastic meal. Yeah, we're just talking with Neves, who is the guy that is turning down our room. Yeah. And he's getting us super excited for the rest of the food that we're going to eat on the cruise. Yeah. yeah. We're going to be best friends with him by the end of it. I know, we're already learning about his life story. Yeah. So for the last 12 hours, we've been slowly sailing from Seward over to Juneau. And to get there, you have to go through some pretty choppy waters in the Gulf of Alaska. And I'm not gonna lie, we're definitely feeling the motions of the ocean. And I know other people on board are also feeling seasick too because everybody's looking like some shade of green. So I'm definitely feeling very seasick this morning. I, it was a struggle to come down to this restaurant, but Claire's like, no, you gotta eat. I tried to go to yoga this morning, which was literally the worst decision because it just makes you more dizzy because you're like putting your body in angles you don't need to be putting it in while the, the boat is rocking. But I mean, I can't complain still. Like this is incredible. What a wild morning it has been. I think we just went through the rockiest part of the entire journey, but those waves were crashing up against the ship and also the wind was blowing us all over the place. Like it was so funny going into the dining hall because everyone's like, yeah. whoa. <laughs> Even the servers with their carts are kind of rolling around yeah. trying to keep it all under control. But yeah. yeah, so we woke up late in the night with all of the waves crashing and our yeah. cupboard doors. Mm -hmm. there are Slamming. Slamming and we were like, oh my goodness. But now that rough air has kind of surpassed and we are back to smooth sailing, which we're really excited about. We actually got some motion sickness patches from my sister and they're like yeah. behind our ear, but that'll just help. I've never seen those before Yeah, either, I've never so. seen them, yeah. But Hopefully those will work well for us. Yeah, it'll help with the seasickness going <laughs> forward. Um, so I think our evenings will be much better than this morning. But we're about 20 minutes away from Hubbard Glacier, which is gonna be like, Apparently it's like the pinnacle, the highlight of our time on the ship. So mm -hmm. I'm really excited to look out for it. Yeah. And just see it go by. Yeah, we'll bring our binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> My Irish woman. <laughs> Irish? The plaid, right? It's plaid from Ireland? You mean Scotland? <laughs> as you can see, I am snug as a bug in a rug because Chad has brought me three blankets to fend off the Alaskan cold. So I feel very warm right now as I read my book, but we actually just got news from the captain. Um, unfortunately, we won't be able to see Hubbard Glacier today because of 
the weather and so of course they have to put safety first and follow what mother nature has given us and so although we are a little bit sad that we aren't able to see it we obviously cannot complain because this is still super super nice and we're just gonna take it easy take in the views and just read my book <laughs> snug as a bug yes yeah, snug as a bug <laughs> to dinner, but before dinner, we're gonna stop at this lounge that we went to yesterday that has some really good music. Claire has dolled up her hair. She has some butterflies on the back that are so cute. <laughs> Just like that, our first 48 hours on board this cruise have come to a close, and tomorrow we will actually be making our first dock at the city of Juneau, which I believe is the capital of Alaska, which I'm very excited to explore. We'll also be going on a whale watching tour and so many other exciting things, so definitely stay tuned for that. And with all that said, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.